everyone. I'm with Valerie Bretram from Lee Health. She's Lee Health's um, oncology dietitian, and we are talking about nutrition right now. Thank you for coming today with me here. Absolutely. Now, we're talking about a wellness connection program we want to share with our residents, and it has to do with nutrition. Uh, the title is Keto or Vegan? What is best for cancer prevention? So first talk to us about this term that we've all heard. Most of us have heard this out there, reading the paper, reading magazines, talk shows, internet. Keto, what is the deal with the keto diet? The keto diet basically is forcing your body into ketosis. Mm -hmm. And basically what that means is that you are eating a very low carbohydrate diet, a high fat diet, and a moderate amount of protein so that when the body is out of the storage of carbohydrates, which is glycogen, it's forced to then go to the fat stores. And that's where you will find um, pretty um, responsive weight loss. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the initial weight loss is because of um, um, fluid loss. And so it can be a little bit misleading um, that way. But uh, interestingly enough, um, ketosis, uh, with me as being a dietitian many years ago, I mean, that was something that we always tried to talk to our diabetic patients about avoiding. Mm -hmm. So now it has become kind of a replacement for the paleo diet mm -hmm. or the caveman diet, True. and now it's just easier to say keto mm -hmm. diet. And I think that it's just so popular because it, you can get um, weight loss success quickly. Mm -hmm. And our food sources basically are processed and we have a lot of choices now. So it makes it a little bit um, easier to kind of seclude down to those two um, macronutrients to mm -hmm. eat. Absolutely, you mentioned a couple things. You mentioned very low carbohydrate and then a quick, responsive weight loss, which could be very motivating and inspiring sure. to some to keep going. But talk to us about those carbohydrates. Um, it's not necessarily um, a great thing to, to go so low on carbs. Well, you know, uh, again, you need a certain amount or a certain percentage of carbohydrates just for your brain to function. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of us forget that, depending on what's motivating that weight loss. So that's a little dangerous uh, if somebody takes it to the extreme. It's hard to concentrate, and sometimes people's blood sugar can go so low that um, they are behaving differently. Mm -hmm. And talk about vegan. What's the difference between vegan and what we hear of vegetarian? Well, vegan's a very, very strict um, diet restricting animal sources. Mm -hmm. And it really is promoting more of your plant food sources minus oil sources. So it, it's a tough one to stick with, um, but there are some benefits to that also. True, and now we're hearing plant-based. Um, Dr. Sal came in January really um, promoting plant-based. That's not vegan, that's not vegetarian, that's right. leading more towards eating more vegetables. It's not as strict. Mm -hmm. It can still put you in the, a healthier pathway to protect those cells from breaking down from free radicals and any type of uh, promotion of risk for cancer. Okay. So it's a little bit easier to follow, I would say. Now talk to us about cancer prevention. What can we do nutritionally to ensure that we're doing everything we can do in our power to prevent certain types of cancers? Well. We know that the reduction of red meats and processed meats can actually help reduce risk for colon cancer. That is proven. And we also know that along with diet, with eating more plant food sources, they're just much more protective. It's, it's easier for the body to behave in the way it's created and use those sources for energy. But along with that, we have to get some physical activity going. And we have to be mindful of portion control. How many calories are we taking in? Just because somebody says that they're on a plant-based diet, right. we still need to see how many excess calories are coming in and how are those food sources being prepared. True. Portion control. Correct. And I was speaking to a resident earlier today. She goes, so many of us want that free magic pill. There's no free pill. I said, yes, there is. It's a diet and exercise. They're free. 
And you're absolutely right. If anybody asked me where that magic bullet comes from, mm -hmm. it's basically balancing energy coming in and food and energy being exerted out with um, uh, using that energy for uh, expenditure. Absolutely. And I, I'm excited for you to come and speak to our residents as well. And I know you're going to come with chock full of information, food for thought, but it's important to note that not every one of us will, will go with a special, a special diet. And, you know, not, there's not one diet that fits all. It, you're absolutely right. And it, it really comes down to what can you maintain and sustain mm -hmm. through absolutely. your life. Thank you so much for being here. I didn't want you to give too much away because I know I want my residents to, to sign up for this event. Keto or vegan, uh, what's best for um, cancer prevention? Please sign up. It's February 21st at 1015. It's going to be in the Social Center. Shell Point, uh, stay well. Hope to see you there. See you then.